morning, so I just got the mail and I got something in it I think you're all really going to like. So I thought I would reveal it here. So, here they are. I got the SCX24 axles from Trio. And then I also got the brass diff covers. So, I figured I'd open them up real quick and show you them before I install them on the truck. I'm also going to weigh them empty. And we'll see how much these weigh versus the stock. But I thought you'd like to get a good look at them before they're under the truck where they're kind of hard to see. So again, just like with the TRX4 parts... You get the stickers with it. And then you've got the axle right here. So that is pretty. It's definitely got a little bit of weight to it too. So this is the front axle. And I'm not going to do it on camera or at least install them because it's so small you're just going to see my fingers in the way and everything. So, I mean, I have a hard enough time trying to do that with the bigger rigs. But I will show you it after and like I said, I will weigh them. Of course, you get these screws, so... You get some of that extra hardware, which is always nice. Now these are going to go on my C10. And I'm going to put these diff covers on them too. So I'm just ex as excited as you guys to see these. It's actually about 95 degrees out here, so I'm also going to install these in the house. So again, more screws. And then here's the rear. Super high quality. They just look amazing. Now we'll open up one of these and take a look at it. These don't have stickers in them. Probably because they can't fit the sticker sheet in here. So again, you got more screws. And then we got the diff cover itself. That's pretty slick. And it's just a tiny bit lighter than the HR diff cover, but it's shaped a little bit different. It's got an angle down here where the di HR one just catches constantly. That's going to help. And it plus, it just looks awesome compared to the HRs. So those are going to go on these axles. Unfortunately, I won't be using the red ones. And the HR covers are going to go on the deadbolt so i am also going to put the hr knuckles on here and we'll see how that works out too so yeah i'm going to go install these real quick i'll talk to y'all in just a second for you guys okay so i'm going to go up the same spot i took the trx4 but this is before the metal axles almost to the point where the rug is folded. It's lifting. That was it. Okay, and then we'll compare it on the hills here. So, 
this is still without the metal axles. This is just with the HR diff covers and the knuckles. Figured we should test it on some dirt. There's a couple axle snaggers in here too and it already catches bad with the HR dips so I don't think it's really going to make much of a difference there. So that's basically it. I'm going to put the new axles on and then we will see how it does. Hi everyone, so I got the new axles on here and I also put the HR diff covers on the deadbolt. Here's what you want to see. There's the new axles. They look sweet under there. The HR uh, knuckles fit just fine and it's got some dang good steering now so that fixes the steering issue for sure and on top of that the uh, worm gear fits a little tighter in there so I'm gonna try that out on the hill climb and we'll mess around with it on the course a little bit it's not gonna be a super long video because it's pretty dang hot out here it's something like 95 or so but, uh, I do have the weights here for you. So, the stock axle only weighs, at least the plastic housing part, without the brass diff covers on it. Just the stock diff cover weighs 4.4 for the front, 4.4 grams. The rear is 5.0 grams. So, super light. Well, these axles, without the brass, with the uh, stock red cover that was on them, those weighed 10.1 uh, gram for the rear and 8.8 .8 gram for the front. That's like double the weight, so that's good. Now, my C10 currently weighs 399.6 grams. And the deadbolt is 358.5 grams, so they're not that far off from each other's. So, without further ado, let's get to what you want to see, and I'll plug these things in and give them a rip. Okay, so just to troll you guys a little bit, we're going to try the deadbolt first. And you'll see just how much steeper this thing climbs because of the way the chassis and everything is set up versus the C10 or G. It's just now picking up a tire and it's pretty steep right there.
So that looks like about the limit for the deadbolt. To be expected, it has a lot less weight up high. So now let's give the C10 a try with the new axles. It's already making it a little further than it was before. Look at that. With a heavy interior in there. Turn a little bit to fight that torque. Ah, oh, I didn't make it. See, it couldn't do that before. So that's it for the climb test. Now let's play on the course. Try this area that I tried before. Do you remember how much trouble this gave us? No problem at all. Oh, it slid on the axle there. So they don't hang up near as much. 
much as you think. So, so far this doesn't seem to have any more snagging up surface. Sorry about that. So it doesn't seem to snag up any more than with just the HR dip covers, which snag a lot. But the center of gravity is definitely improved. Wow, <laughs> that was nice.
That's it for this one. Okay, so as you can see, these axles actually are awesome. They look good and they actually improve the center of gravity quite a bit, more than I expected. And they do hang up, but no more than, say, the brass HR dips that are now on the deadbolt. So if you'd like to get a set of your own, you can go down to the description on the video and I'll put the link there to Amazon where you can get some. They're $46 a piece. Just a little bit cheaper than HR, but they are good axles. Just be sure that when you put the guts from the original axle in there that you grease the bearings and everything so that they don't stick so bad because they're a pain to get out of metal. So that's really it for this update and I will run these around and have okay, some more so fun. I did want to mention that I did put the deadbolt back to its stock ride height because Jenny's going to be driving it around and I think it's going to be easier for her to have a little more extra ride height so she don't got to pick her line so much because she's inexperienced and I mean it, of course it's going to help. I can handle it but she wanted it up a little higher. So yeah, that's it for this update. I hope you all liked the video. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you're notified of whenever I upload. I'll get these things out on Kelly Butte or something here as soon as I can. TTFN.